So the 13th annual Elimination Chamber is going to take place from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And this show is going to break a lot of people's hearts. You know, there are people out there who are still saying that Sami Zayn is going to win the undisputed WWE Universal Championship and it's just not going to happen. And I'm going to talk about that in a while. But first, let's just take a look at this card right here. And again, these are just my predictions. This is me just doing my predictions for the first time on YouTube. I mean, I've never done this before. So again, what I'm about to say, some of the stuff I can see take place and some of them, I guess some of the stuff that I'm saying is not going to happen because this is WWE. This is a professional wrestling show we're talking about. Thing changes here by the minute. And I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, this is Paul Levesque first elimination chamber. This is his show. This is booked by him. And that is true. But thing is, you never know. Anything can change. Don't you guys think that Vince is not going to have some kind of an input going into WrestleMania? So some prediction that I'm going to make here are going to come true and some of them are not. So and again, all of this is just my opinion. You guys can feel free to disagree down below. And yeah, let me know of your opinions. All right, so let's get this ball rolling. So looking at this card, one of the things that I really like is how we have five matches, not six, not seven, not eight. And this is what I really love about Triple H's administration that we're having quality over quantity. We're having five matches, they're balanced. And I really hope that these really give people who are involved in this match a chance to shine, especially in the chamber matches because that's what the pay-per-view is really all about. And, and this is one of the big positives of Triple H, what he has done is focus more on quality over quantity and just, you know, and really just give more time to the actual matches, something that we really did not used to see under Vince's administration, so. Looking at this card, we have total five matches. So the first one that I'm gonna go over is Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar. And this could end in multiple ways. I just really don't see this match being the final Lesnar versus Lashley match. A lot of people online were surprised that this is happening at the chamber and not at WrestleMania. And so was I. And if you've been watching Raw every week, then you would know that in the background you can see MVP talking to Cedric and Omas and Shelton. And the rumor has it that the Hurt Business are going to be back together. And I do think they're going to be back together. And they're going to help Bobby Lashley win this match. I'm going to go with Lashley. And then the final blow-off match is going to take place at WrestleMania. That's just how I see it, even though I'm a huge fan of Brock Lesnar versus Gunther idea. I would just really love to see these two muscular beasts just go at it and just tear the house down. And yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're going to save that for either SummerSlam or somewhere down the line. But yeah, I would love to see Lesnar versus Gunther, but the way I just see this is Lashley. All right, moving on to the next match is Judgment Day versus Edge and Beth Phoenix, the grit couple. Now, here's the thing. I just don't see Finn Balor and the Judgment Day and their storyline being concluded before WrestleMania. It's not going to. I do think that Edge versus Finn Balor is going to take place. Demon Balor versus Brute Edge at WrestleMania inside the rumored Hell in a Cell that was supposed to take place at the Royal Rumble and I think that that is where the feud is going to end so I don't really see the feud ending here I think 
the way that I see it is Triple H is a huge fan of Finn Balor. We all know he has done incredible stuff with him in NXT. The way he feuded with Adam Cole, the way he just, you know, reinvented himself after being wasted on the main roster for so many years. So the way I see it, Judgment Day here wins, they retains, and Edge is finally going to take his big final revenge at WrestleMania. And he's going to just, this is the way WWE does stuff and they're gonna make people go home happy and edge is going to win at wrestlemania inside that rumored hell in a cell match but i would love to see finn balor win this and get his big moment but i think he already did at the extreme rules match with edge so i don't see him defeating edge twice or maybe he will i don't know but that's wrestlemania the way i see it here at the elimination chamber i think the judgment day are going to win this match all right, let's move on to the third match, and that being the women's elimination chamber match between Asuka versus Liv Morgan versus Nikki Cross versus Raquel versus Natalia versus Carmella. Now, instantly, Carmella, I just don't see her winning this at all because she just came back. Natalia, she has seen her light of the day. Raquel, Raquel is someone who people are behind, and I, I think she's gonna do really well inside the chamber but i just don't see her winning that leads us to Liv morgan nikki cross and asuka now Liv morgan already had a title run so i i just don't see her winning this one i think wwe whatever they wanted to experiment with her they did and she has this this slightly new character where she's inflicting pain on her herself or whatever is going on and Nikki I, I just don't see Nikki as an incredible champion so that leads, leads us to Asuka and Asuka she you know she came back with this murder clown inspired gimmick and it's not really kind of from stardom or Japan or whatever but it's very much inspired by her and the reaction that the fans gave her I think, I think she's the right winner here and she's definitely going to win the Women's Elimination Chamber match. There's not much else to say about this. Even though I would have loved to see Rhea go against Bianca, but you gotta get the Charlotte Flair in the main event of the night one, so there's that. Alright, now moving on to the fourth match and that being Men's Elimination Chamber match between Austin Theory, the United States champion Austin Theory versus Seth freaking Rollins, Johnny Gargano, Bronson Reed, Damian Priest, and Montez Ford. The reason why I love this match so much is because now the Elimination Chamber is really being used to give guys a push. You have guys like Johnny Gargano, Bronson Reed who are going to get much more exposure and I really hope Bronson Reed in particular does very well here because we need to build that guy up. We need to build a new monster. We need to have a new Gunther on Raw, just like how Gunther is doing on SmackDown. And I'm a huge Bronson Reed fan. I love what he did in Japan. I love what he did against Okada in the G1. And even though his G1 run could have been much better, but freaking Okada was in the group, so there was no way they were going to have Bronson win more matches. But even decent matches over there. Anyways, so a lot of guys who are involved in this match, a lot of them can win. I can definitely see a Johnny Gargano hold a United States Championship and really bring prestige back to that title, you know. Because Johnny Gargano can be a really underdog babyface. Johnny Gargano is immensely loved by everyone. It's hard to hate him. And he can really bring out these great matches from a lot of these heels moving forward. And Gargano versus Champa, I don't know if they're going to have enough time to tell that story at WrestleMania. I don't think they will. But if they want to, they can certainly give it a shot. But, but the way I see it, what happened last year was Austin Theory lost the Elimination Chamber. Austin Theory is going to win. 
And even though I would love to see Johnny Gargano or even a Damian Priest win the title back, bringing some gold to Judgment Day. But the way I see it, I think Austin Theory is going to retain because Austin Theory versus John Cena is the rumored match. And I don't think that match at WrestleMania needs a United States Championship at all. It's Cena versus Theory, okay? Cena needs to put Theory over. That match doesn't need the US title, but it's WWE. They're going to try to make it much bigger, I guess. And hey, look, United States Championship is on the line. More similarities between Cena and Austin Theory. They both were US champions and all that stuff. So yeah, I guess that's what they're going to do. All right. Now, the fifth and the final match. Roman Reigns versus Sami Zayn. A lot of people, a lot of people are saying Sami Zayn is going to win this. I just don't see it happening. Sami Zayn himself said it that he really is not the guy. He's the now. And here's what I think. I think Roman Reigns is the now. Cody Rhodes is the now. Sami Zayn is the now. A lot of these people, they're the now. A lot of these people, they're not going to be holding the WWE Championship, wearing it around their waist and going to freaking tonight show or whatever. For those we have NXT for, NXT is the ground that is for the future. So it really depends on what they want to do with the now. And the now is not Sami Zayn. And I'm a huge Sami Zayn fan. I love Sami Zayn's work in NXT. I hated how they treated him on the main roster. But who's going to main event WrestleMania with Roman Reigns was already decided when Cody Rhodes had that hellacious match against Seth Rollins inside the Hell in a Cell. That was already decided. He came back to tell his story, people. This is his story. He came back to tell it. And Sami Zayn, I will say Sami Zayn. But the reason why I'm not going to say Sami Zayn is because Kevin Owens. What is Kevin Owens going to do at WrestleMania? What is Jimmy and Jey Uso are going to do at WrestleMania? All these major players, Jey Uso, Kevin Owens, Jimmy Uso, they all revolve around Sami Zayn. That is his story. And that story is going to complete at WrestleMania 39 when Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are going to become WWE Undisputed Tag Team Champions. That's just the way how I see it. Again, a lot of people are going to be crying because Sammy is going to lose and I can't blame them. But it's just, it's, it's Cody's story. And yeah, that wraps up my predictions for 2023 Elimination Chamber. Now, I don't really do these predictions. This is just me saying all of this for the f making this prediction video for the first time so if you guys enjoy this you, you want to see my more thoughts and opinions on professional wrestling so leave, leave them down below and yeah hopefully i'll do a nxt review nxt stand and deliver is going to take place so i'll do its review as well so if you guys love that content let me know down below so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry for stuttering a lot English isn't really that great of mine. It's not my main language, but okay. I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully, if I make more for these content, and see ya.